Welcome back to Magic Gathering Strat. I'm Binky B, and this will be the third match with Blue Nair Dragons. Uh, I'm gonna keep one land, and it's pretty good. Uh, two lands, or rather, a land and a ramp spell in some combination would be pretty nice. Uh, this hand kind of counts on path of on being a good card. We will see. Uh, tapped breeding pool go. Makes me look like something like scape shift maybe or uh, yeah, basically scape shift. Let's see what my opponent is playing. Okay, that will probably guarantee a scoop. It usually does. So this has to get either red or white, and it looks like white is pretty necessary. So my opponent skipped his first turn. Could be a reanimate the deck, could be a misclick. We will see if the scoop comes soon. If we don't draw land though... And if my opponent doesn't do anything... Yeah, this hand really wants Path to Excel to be good. Okay. Not too much uh, going on here. Uh, there we go. Temple Garden. Yes. Silvan Carrotted. Yes. So, land would be by far the best card we could draw. Any land. Oh, Ink Moth. So it could have been like an Affinity or Infect deck with a very good 6 card hand but no lands. Uh, affinity. Well then Path will be decent. So will a Johnny Vengeance. Land. Okay. Hmm. I think the best we can do here is lock down Inkmoth Nexus and then next turn protect the Johnny with uh, some paths and uh, maybe helix something. I could helix this, but if he has land, animate, kill a Johnny, that's not good. Oh well. Yeah, yeah, that's not good. A Johnny is the only thing we have going on right now. This way. It will be very hard for my opponent to kill a Johnny. There is certainly ways, but like a red source and two cheap artifacts like Ornithopter and Galvanic Blast would kill him. Um, something like land, mox, cranial plating. Yep. Yes, you did. So if my opponent had done this turn one instead, yeah, you see, we would have been in at least somewhat of a trouble. Springleaf drum, that is acceptable. Still lands is probably the best. I guess 
ramp or courser is also good so I kinda don't have that many bad draws and path actually <laughs> now that I think about it is very good against affinity because they usually only run one basic so this could be galvanic blast and that would be sad for me no it's an attack sure now I can kill Volt Scourge land how fortunate and as it was true last turn and it's true this turn galvanic blast still kills a Johnny but I think it's th this is the best I can do it guarantees value of a Johnny and it takes up either a turn or a card from my opponent maybe not the whole turn but a big part of it yep I am so pathing your ink moth alright maybe I should actually have responded to that probably yep So I could kill both if I need to. <laughs> if I draw a land I would like to play it, yeah, I think so. And no basic. Sweet. This is a speculation, but yeah, you see. Paid off. Begone Blink Moth. And hello, Dragon Lord Dramoka. That I think will be pretty tough to beat. Another ink moth. Master of Ethereum, sure. Uh, yeah, I will take my turn. And then we can decide what to do. <laughs> well, that's kinda unfair. We have drawn excellent this game, truly excellent. But then again, this draw could have been horrible <laughs> uh, if this was another type of deck where Path to Exile is not good. I still think Inky is the worst one for me. I could tap Mox Opal to cut him off colored sources, but he can kinda get there anyway if he wants to. So you did have a, a basic, but you probably had it in hand. So I assume that's your last, uh, last land in hand. Uh, let's see. All right, Blink Moth Nexus activation. Sure. Now you have oh, a cranial plating. Certainly. Okay, fair enough. I assume it goes for a Johnny. 
yeah. I'm just going to path that. <sighs> now we can keep master tapped if we want to. I'm pretty certain we just keep ink moth down though. That's the easiest way to lose. Next time we can keep kind of chomp uh, master if we want to. Or we can draw assemble the legion, no big deal. Well, the deck is filled with expensive powerful cards, so... I'm gonna assume that... Uh, Silon Carotid will survive. So next turn my opponent is dead to the stuff I have in play. I wonder if I would have lost if my opponent didn't skip the turn. Well, you would never know that because I would have played very differently if that was the case. Maybe I would have left Dragon Lord Remoka back or something. <sighs> Alright, Scoopy Doop. Let's bring in the goodies. So we have Wear Tear, Ancient Grudge, and to a certain extent, Sudden Shock. We don't want Ugin. We don't want. Don't think we want Assemble the Legion. Uh, I don't love Eternal Witness. It's pretty slow. Uh, same with Corsa, we can probably cut one. And. I kinda like Dragon Lord of Tarka, but I'm not sure if I want three. We can cut one. And maybe just play two Sudden Shock. Yeah, that's probably good enough. How is the hand? Turn one or one. We got one of the. Yeah, I think this is good. A land in two turns and we are in really good shape. We kind of have to decide if birds is what we want to be doing and I actually think it is. It depends on our draw. If we draw a land I'll probably play search because that is more likely to get a land but uh, now we will have to play birds. So next turn the hope is to play Sylvan Carotid and search for tomorrow if possible but Glimmer Void, that's probably not good for me. Spell Skite. So if we drew Not that. If we had drawn a non-green land, we could have killed this with wear and path this and the Glimmer Void would have been destroyed. As it is now, we have to play Sylvan Carotid and pass. <laughs> Not really what I would like to do. Not really what I would like to do, yeah. So next turn we can play... <laughs> Wear and path if we need to. Clean up plating. Okay. And Mox Opal, jeez. Yeah, we will take damage. 
land. All right. So we can suspend search for tomorrow. Keep path and where tear up. Yeah, that seems good. The next turn we can play a Johnny and hopefully some turn after that we can play one of our dragons. Ouch. <laughs> That's not good. Well, it's not horrible, I suppose. So I'm gonna go ahead and path spell skite. Yeah, this actually works out fine. So I'm gonna take some damage here. Then play a Johnny and kill the last Ornithopter. I'm gonna get Mountain here. And destroy cranial plating. Take four. At least I think so. Foothills. If I Ajani kill Ornithopter, he re equips. There's no real reason. I could play Dragonlord Ogutai. Maybe that is better. I go to 9. My opponent. Two cards, third place, like two artifacts. I get hit for six. Go to three, dead to Galvanic Blast. I think I have to play Dragon Lord Ogutai this turn. It is a gamble, but I think it will pay off. The thing is that if I just play a Johnny this turn, Helix, nothing really changes. I will still take the same amount of damage, but then next turn I will be forced to block with Dragon Lord Oritai. Now I have another draw, plus the, the hit from this to kinda decide what I want to do. I could find something like Ancient Grudge and then the game will probably be over. So this is it. Let's see if we have to make a dragon block or not. There's many ways I'm dead here. But if he attacks I kinda have to take it. with both. <sighs> so if I block here he moves it, activates this and Galvanic Blast may I die. If I block here he can move it and trade or just kill me again. Uh, the question is I'm just gonna take it. If he has Galvanic Blast I'm pretty screwed no matter what I do. This gives me a good chance to win if he does not have Galvanic Blast. Yep. And Galvanic Blast. Or Shrapnel Blast works too. Yep. Okay. 
Well, I was dead no matter what I did. Drone land and hit nothing. Okay. Uh, maybe I want another sudden, sudden shock. What do we remove? Maybe a Johnny. It's pretty weak, yeah. I'm gonna remove a Johnny. So I could have survived that particular turn by playing a Johnny, Helix in something, and that would have gained me enough life, but I would still be dead a turn after, so. Uh, decent hand I will keep. It's not the best hand ever, but. Bly. Blue Naya Dragons. Uh, suspend search. Next turn play Sylvan Carrotted. And then play Corsair. Yep, it's a brew. There is no way I can get Corsair in before uh, search, though. All right, slow start by my opponent. That one is good. Then I actually want to do this. I'm gonna grab stomping ground. Because now I can use search, play Corsair, and play a, la a land tapped or something if I need to. But yeah, my opponent's draw is really slow. Unfortunately, I don't have a payoff card, but we will get there. Oh, I thought it fo found a search for tomorrow. <laughs> uh, let's grab planes, I guess. There we have payoff. Big payoff. Path, okay. I'm just going to play breeding pool tapped. Could keep sudden shock up, but I'm gonna have time to do to do something with it next turn if I need to. This game seems to be over though. I'm going to discard. That's not the way to win. And a land from the top. Great, and we do not want carrier Hopefully he draws like a cheap artifact and just spins off so a Tarka can devastate him. One can dream, right? Sure. Well, it's not the big hit that I would like to, but it's fine. And we draw a sudden shock. And <laughs> a wear tire. Alright. That's it. Red, green stuff. Boom. I think your signal pest died. <laughs> I think this draw would have been pretty nice anyway. If my opponent had. Uh, Bill out his board by by now. Dragon Lord would devastate it, and any follow up would be swept away with this. And if I could not play Dragon Lord this turn, well, I would sweep away a bunch of stuff anyway. 
And there you have it. See you shortly for a uh, match. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, it really helps us out. You can find us on Twitter at MagicGathStrat, Facebook slash MagicGatheringStrat, or on the web MagicGatheringStrat.com. There you can find articles and free prize supported leagues. This is all brought to you by our Patreons and CardHoarder.com. If you enjoy this content, please consider supporting us at Patreon.com slash MagicGatheringStrat.